It's perhaps a widely held belief that oysters are best cultivated in cold, deep, dark waters. But one aqua farmer is looking to challenge that theory. He's growing oysters up to four times faster and 30% bigger than the average industry rate. And he's doing it right here in the UAE's warm waters, which is also where much of the seafood you see behind me comes from. Salima Saeed has the story. Under the sea is where seafaring farmer Ramy Murray tends to his secret colony of oysters. Clusters of the mollusks hang like lanterns, four meters deep across 100-meter lines, in the deep waters of the UAE's Deba Bay and the northern emirate of Fujairah. Oysters are more commonly cultivated in the cooler waters of Europe and North America, and Ramy says his four-year-old farm was a pioneering effort. When I first started, and uh, the first thing people say is like, oh, oysters can't grow in warm water, they must be rubbish. And that was just like the default. And then you ask people, I talk to chefs, they're like, why do they not grow in warm water? Nobody could tell me why. The Biba Bay farmer now produces up to 100,000 oysters per month. Importing Pacific Bay oyster spats from Europe, originating from Japan, he cultivates the adaptable species in the UAE to yield their own qualities. So I would say the primary difference between ours and ones from Europe is they're much firmer. Um, and so it's a different slightly different texture and it's more like a piece of meat that you can actually bite into and there, there's a crunch. So we set sail to pursue the fastest aquatic farm-to-table experience with oysters shucked on board to get the freshest flavors seasoned by the Gulf of Oman. They could be born from the same place, the same genetic makeup, but look and taste quite different because the majority of what makes an oyster an oyster is its environment. These filter feeders, quite literally, take in their surroundings, and Ramy says Deba Bay's waters give the shellfish a mightier size and white pearls. While most oysters need years to reach full maturity, at Deba Bay, they only need about eight months, according to Ramy, due to the region's year-round warm climates and abundance of nutrients in the water, which means Gulf oysters are opening up an even wider market than ever before. Harvesting monthly, Ramy is looking to scale up his production to 150,000 oysters per month. Currently, he serves mainly UAE restaurants and hotels, and is looking to expand to Russia and Europe. A two-kilometer boat ride away is one of Ramy's first customers, and Chef Georgie buys up to 200 oysters a week, and they fetch up to $25 a dozen in local supermarkets. So he and I cleaned up and dressed up for a fine dining experience. In France, flat-shelled Bellon oysters are known for their seaweed and hazelnut accents. And Japanese Yatsushiro Bay oysters carry a sweet, briny flavor. And from next door, Chef Georgie says Remy's oysters have their own palatable properties. Compared to the other oysters, the, the, oyster, the taste of the Diba Bay oysters is um, quite, quite intense, but not over, overwhelming. It's not, uh, so the salinity level, the acidity level, it's, it's still there, but it's not going overpowering each other. So for me, it's a giving a great opportunity to play, you know, play a lot with the different recipes, with the different uh, ingredients. To bring out their flavor, chef uses an Arabic spicy emulsion, pickled Lebanese chilies, finished off with a spray of lime foam, which he says encourages appetite and balances the salinity. Oysters contain all nine essential amino acids that our bodies need, according to some medical journals, and they're rich in protein and omega-3s perhaps implying that shellfish from the Gulf region have more to bring to the table than previously thought.